Good afternoon, this is Dr. Walker from denwalker.com. Welcome back to the channel. And again, if you like what we're talking about, give us a thumbs up or a like, uh, so we'll know that folks like what we're talking, what we're doing. All right, so today I'm gonna talk a little about um, elemental zinc. Uh, some issues and concerns about how to determine elemental zinc and what is it, what exactly is ele elemental zinc. So just to be clear, um, when you go to the store uh, and you're buying zinc, you will not find zinc that says elemental zinc. Zinc um, is not well absorbed by the body. And so what they do is they combine it with something to help it get absorbed. So typically what you'll see is you'll see, you'll see zinc gluconate, zinc carbonate, zinc sulfate, uh, any of those uh, things, it's the chelating part of the zinc that you're seeing. And the other part is actually the elemental zinc. So it's really a combination of things. And zinc by itself, again, is not well absorbed, but when it's combined with this other part, it gets absorbed by the body, usually by uh, the chelating part of that zinc uh, pretty well. Otherwise, it does not get absorbed by the system very, very well. Uh, some companies, it depends on which one you're buying, it'll actually say on the bottle, it'll say 50% elemental zinc somewhere at the bottom or 20% or 10% elemental zinc somewhere, but it's, it's typically called zinc acetate, zinc citrate, zinc carbonate, that sort of stuff. So uh, an example, when you go to the store and you're looking to buy, and you'll buy, let's say zinc carbonate, zinc carbonate is only about 52% elemental uh, elemental zinc. So a lot of folks, um, if you look at Zelenko's protocol and those kind of things, it'll tell you that you need between 30 and 50 uh, milligrams of, quote, elemental zinc. So you have to figure that out yourself. So zinc carbonate, for example, uh, is 52% um, uh, elemental zinc. So if you have a 100 milligram uh, pill, right, for zinc carbonate, 52% of that is actually elemental zinc. So if you're trying to get close to your 50 milligrams, then that's your best shot, right? Your best shot would be to take that 100 milligram to get you 50 milligram of uh, zinc carbonate, technically 52% of that, but what you're trying to get is 50%, so you need to take 100 milligram of zinc uh, carbonate to get you 50, close to 50% uh, of elemental zinc. Another example would be, uh, would be zinc acetate. Zinc acetate is only about 30%. Um, elemental zinc. So again, if you're trying to get to your 50 um, milligram of elemental zinc, you need three times the amount of that 50 milligram of zinc uh, acetate, of which 30% of that 150 milligrams would be elemental zinc, or 45 milligram is what you would get, close to your 50 milligram, right? So again, if you have 150 milligram of zinc acetate, only 30% of that uh, is actually elemental zinc. So 50, uh, 150 milligrams, 30% of that uh, should get you 45 milligrams close to your 50 milligram pill. And they're all different, right? So you have zinc sulfate, you have zinc acetate, you have zinc gluconate, you have, they're all different in terms of their percentage, right, of elemental zinc that you actually get um, with it, but you have to do the calculation yourself. And I'll put uh, the common ones um, in the body of this video somewhere that you can actually see, uh, like zinc gluconate is, is another one. 14% of zinc gluconate is actually elemental uh, zinc. And I'll say that all these things to say that um, you may have to, de depending on what your, how much zinc you're trying to take, again, zinc acetate, you need 150 milligrams to get you that 30%, uh, to get you 30% of true element, elemental zinc. Um, you, would ha you could take that 50 milligram pill, one pill, three times a day, different times in the day. Um, and uh, the, the reason I, I would say to break it down like that, because zinc, uh, can cause some belly upset, right? And some people, I guess, will not have a problem taking zinc on an empty stomach or drinking water with it, will not have a problem. But many people that I know have a problem taking uh, taking zinc um, in, in whatever the chelating form is, they'll have a problem taking zinc. So you have to sort of uh, take some of your food, then take your zinc, eat the rest of your food, and you should be fine. Now, if you do that and you're still having problems in terms of uh, belly upset with um the zinc, then what you may want to do is try a different chelating version. So in other words, if you're trying carbonate to begin with and you're still having problems after taking some of your food, then you may want to try like uh, zinc sulfate or zinc citrate or some other type of zinc because sometimes it's the chelating part of that zinc that's actually causing you a problem, not just the zinc uh, in and of itself. Anyway, I hope that I hope that helps. And thanks for listening. Dr. Walker again.